Hey guys, OG Almighty here, and in week four of the BVR, we were able to take home a big win against Ark off of the back of Big Swampert and Chi Yu cleaning. We'd love to keep the winning ways going, but that'll be no easy task as we have to take on Panther and his Carolina Clefables. Panther is a major OG in the draft league scene, and is actually the guy who got me into uploading, so you have him to thank for the best draft league content on God's Green Earth. All jokes aside, we took the win off him last season, but he killed it in LTM recently and has been playing really well, and I'm sure he's going to want his revenge this time around. If you guys do enjoy week 5 and are excited for the battle, be sure to like the video and sub to the channel if you haven't. It's easy, free, and really helps me reach my end of the year goal of 5,000. Also, please go check out Panther and all the other BBR coaches in the description below. There'll be a timestamp down there if you'd like to skip the builder and go straight ahead to the battle. Big shouts to LOQP, Kirby, and Katast for all the mocks this week. That being said, let's jump into it. Our team, if you did forget, consists of Iron Valiant, Chiyu, Glamora, Swampert, Metagross, Talonflame, Decidueye, Porygon Z, and Hariyama. While Panther's team consists of Excadrill, Cinderace, Keldeo, Weezing Galar, Raikou, Salamence, Articuno Galar, Tyranitar, Quagsire, and Appleton. I won't lie to you guys, this matchup is terrible. Keldeo is an absolute monster into us. Specs has the potential of 2-it KOing or Okoing our entire team. Scarf is also pretty strong as a revenge killer. Zand is also really strong to us. Tyranitar is a great Chiyu check, and Extra Drill can pretty easily clean up as they don't really have many answers into offensive grounds. Cinderace is also very suffocating here. With coverage like Trailblaze, Smackdown, and Zen Headbutt, it can smoke through any pivot we have, provided it clicks the right button. Then even more defensive pieces are also difficult for us to deal with. Weezing is one of the few Pokemon to resist Valiant's dual stabs, and Quagsire checks a lot of our offense and sets up very frustrating spikes. With that being said, let's jump into our build. First up, we have Team Captain Valiant. Despite Weezing resisting dual stabs, Valiant is really strong here. We're once again rocking out with an extra belt set, and our moveset consists of Moonblast for a super spammable stab, Vacuum Wave for great priority into his sand offense build, Psychic to nuke non Pyapa Berry Weezings, and Close Combat to piece up Titar and Extra Drill outside of sand. EVs wise, we have Speed for Raikou, Max Special Attack, and the Leftover Aiden Attack. This is also our lead in this battle, as it deters scary Keldeo leagues and scares out Pokemon like Quagsire. Second, we have Big Pert making his debut. This time around, instead of a helmet, our boys rocking with the Citrus Berry, with the moveset of Earth Power, Ice Beam, Stealth Rock, and Flip Turn. We want special this week in case of Willow slash Pyroball Burns from Cinderace and Skull Burns from Raikou. Citrus Berry is our item of choice that lets us pivot into Life Orb Excadrome, Salamence, and Cinderace better. In fact, Citrus allows us to live two Libero Trailblazers from Cinderace. EVs wise, we're pretty simple, max HP, max defense. Third is Glamora, rocking a Focus Ash variant. However, we're not a hazard setting variant. Instead, we're a 4 attacks variant with Power Gem, Mortal Spin, Earth Power, and Energy Ball. Glim offensively is very strong here, and can force some annoying damage on T-Tar for another member on our team that really appreciates it. The Sash in a non-lead shot is to ensure that we can hard pivot on non Quag in the early game, and can easily throw off an Energy Ball and Earth Power to kill Drill. Or it can also set up a scenario where T-Tar comes in on an Energy Ball, then takes a Mortal Spin as we spin away Hazards, then takes an Earth Power. This drastically weakens it for the aforementioned team member we'll get into soon. We can also use Glamour in the mid game to take hits from guys like Galar Weezing. EVs wise, we have Speed for Titar, Max Special Attack, and the rest in HP. Fourth, we have our Scarfer and Porygon Z. I know it seems odd to bring PZ and Adrill and Titar, but I really feel as if this guy is incredibly strong if we force damage into Titar with Glamour and Hazards. Set wise, are a pretty simple Tri Attack, Thunderbolt and Ice Beam for Bolt Beam coverage, and Trick to Cripple a Titar switch in if need be. This Pokemon can force a ton of damage on a ton of Pokemon and is a really strong scarf in this game. EVs wise, we have no Speed for Drill. Max Special Attack, and the rest in HP. Fifth, we have another solid win condition in Metagross. This week we're a 4 attack Shookaberry variant, with a moveset consisting of Heavy Slam, Bullet Punch, Earthquake, and Trailblaze. Shooka lets us lower an extra drill and pick it off with an Earthquake, and Trailblaze lets us hit Quagsire as well as get a nice little speed boost. Bullet Punch is really just there to pick off weaker threats like a Dragon Dance up Salamence, which can be pretty scary. EVs wise, we have Speed for Adamant Tyranitar, we live a Specs Keldeo hit, and then have the rest in attack to do as much damage as possible. Lastly is our attempt at a Keldeo check and Decidueye making his debut. The Sid is going to be an Assault Vest variant with a move full of Shadow Ball, Leaf Storm, U-Turn, and Shadow Sneak. Our long reach ability allows us to grab U-Turns without the worry of Rocky Helmets from guys like Weezings. EVs wise, we actually have 8 speed despite being a minus speed nature, as it allows us to outpace a no speed T-Tar. Otherwise, we have max HP and the rest in special defense. 
that's going to be the team. Let me know what you guys think of the squad down in the description below if you would have brought anything different um, or if you think the team's good to go. Uh, and with that being said, let's jump into the battle. Alrighty, gang, here we are with the battle. Um, I won't lie to you, I was just totally looking down at my phone and then Panther accepted. Uh, so here we are, we are running it. Let's see what Panther brought. He did go with the sand, which makes a lot of sense. Um, T-Star is actually really annoying for the team that I brought in particular to switch into. We also have Big Excadrill, um, which is pretty darn scary. Then we have Big Weezing. Uh, probably going to be some kind of Pyopa variant if I had to guess. Keldeo. We have... Oh, we have no... Um, what do you call it? Which is really interesting. We have no um, Quagsire, so I don't really need to be careful. Articuno about, uh, what do you call it, going up? Spikes and things like that from Quagsire, which is incredible. My Metaros also looks insanely, insanely strong in this game, which is also really, really cool. I think what I want to do immediately is I think I am going to lead off with Valiant um, because it puts him in a bad spot, and if he goes into uh, his Weezing on me, I have a really free switch in, in my Sash, um, what do you call it? Uh, Glamora. So, yeah, that's that's great for me. Uh, good luck, Fun to Panther. Have fun, man. Uh, I should probably say it. Uh, I didn't do it last week to Ark, and I felt bad. Because <laughs> I just forgot to say have fun <laughs> in the chat. And he said it. And then he said GG before I even said have fun. And I felt bad. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see if we can uh, keep the winning ways going. Big Keldeo. Yeah. I'm, I'm clicking, uh, clicking mid-ground Psychic. I'm clicking mid-ground Psychic. You don't stay in. Unless you're Scarf. You don't say it unless you're Scarf and you're Scarf Air Slash, and that's kind of bad. Hmm. But realistically, knowing Panther, he should scout for Scarf too. He should scout for Scarf too. But if he scouts for Scarf... Okay. So we're going to make a little bit of a mid-ground play. If he scouts for Scarf, I think he's going into Weezing. Um, or he's clicking Air Slash. And if he stays in and clicks Air Slash, he's Scarf or Sash. Either way... My play, okay, so he's gonna, he isn't gonna switch here, so if he does switch, it means we're faster. Um, and if he goes into Weezing, this is a great position for me, because I can just stay in and click buttons. Yep, okay, cool, so he does switch. I could have just called and gone for Psychic, but I don't want to risk it to an Air Slash miss, you know? I just don't think it's worth. Uh, we're Sash, so we're gonna do a lot of damage to whatever comes in. Uh, this puts us in a pretty phenomenal spot, and Power Gem into, like, Keldeo into Energy Ball afterwards is pretty darn powerful here. Uh, so we're just gonna click power jam. I also did not see if he's rocking out with a what do you call it variant? Um, a levitate variant or a neutralizing gas. I think it was levitate. I don't remember. Uh, so he's immediately gonna get back out probably into Keldeo. Neutralizing gas. Okay, so that's good to know. It's good to know. So it is Keldeo. Kind of wish I earth powered them then, but it's all good. All good. Oh yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure this is range. Um,. What I can do is I can just go into the Sidueye, though. I can keep a Sash on this thing, and it's very valuable with no hazards being here. I don't think I need to make this trade yet. If he wants to make a really aggressive play, uh, then so be it. But we won't get to it healed by Air Slash unless it's Specs. Um, so that's good to know. <sighs> I wish I would have earth there. Just more damage, but again, not the end of the world. He's also not Scarf on this thing, which is, again... Great, great information. Um, and he, we showed that he showed that his initial switch in is going to be the Weezing and not Gardakuno. So I have a pretty free mid ground psychic to click. I got a pretty free mid ground psychic to click. Um, so yeah, he also doesn't super appreciate uh, what do you call it? The dude guy. So just something good to know. Just something good to know. We're going to pivot out. We see we switch first. Um, he could be flip turning here. Uh, but then a T-Spike would go up in his spot, and that's kind of hard for him to spin from his perspective, right? Because he doesn't know if this is his death or not. Not expect a flip turn. Dude, the T-Spike fucked him, too. Um, T-Spike would have been tough. It's okay, though. Uh, we know that he's flip turn. I'm assuming it's Specs, based on him leading it and just trying to pick a KO. Um, so I'm glad that we led the way we did into um, Elvio. Yeah. Not in the worst spot. Not in the worst spot. From here, he can go into Weezing, he can go into Gardakuno, he can go into Men's. He goes into Gardakuno, honest to god, I think I'm gonna U-turn. Um, Gardakuno does come out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna U-turn. I don't want this to be like any like weakness Mickey bullshit, um, but I also don't 
want to switch hard into it um, on my Metagross. But if I get a free switch into Metagross, I'm in a much better spot. He has to Hurricane to like, really, really hit me. Uh, if he wants Calm Mind, he can Calm Mind if he wants. I'm just going to Shadow Ball. Fine. Or AV. We take that very, very well. Um, we're just going to U-turn out. Cool. All right. Now from here, what position do we want? Again, this chip's good for Valiant, right? Like, really, really good chip for Valiant. Um, I think we can pretty comfortably just go into uh, Metagross and click a pretty darn free Heavy Slam. Um, I'm very, very confident with this Heavy Slam play. That U-turn actually did a chunk, too. Um, so we can get into Metagross. Article of Galler. Um, actually, honest to God, can we just... Can we just trailblaze? Can we just trailblaze? I'm pretty sure we can. Just break through this team a little bit. Yeah, because trailblaze should actually put him in range of heavy slam. Oh, we're dual screens. Don't like that. Not something I expected. Ooh, not something I expected at all. So we shadow ball dual screens. Um, hmm, that's really bad. So we're just gonna heavy slam here. We're gonna see both of them go up. Um, and that's not great, to be honest. But we also have like Mortal Spin shenanigans to be able to poison whatever comes in after, which is really nice. Um, plus double priority, so that's okay. He still doesn't super appreciate switching into Heavy Slam. So that's also gonna be nice for me. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so we see, we see the Shadow Ball um, reflect I'm assuming he's not going to be U-turn then, if he's dual screens. Uh, he does just hard out. That's fine. I get chip on whatever comes in. T-tar. Um, so T-tar with a reflect up, how much is this going to take? Holy shit. Absolutely nothing. No damage at all. Um, I am going to go ahead and make this Swamp pivot. Uh, there's no Cinderace, by the way, which I'm just now realizing. Whoa! <laughs> Super nice for me, because uh, I can use this a little bit more liberally. So we take those. Just got Dark Pulse. Okay. Not that much. I'm going to go ahead and probably just get out my rocks, right? Yeah, I, I really like rocks here. You can rock. A um, little bit annoying, but not the end of the world. Uh, I can get a slow flip turn out here. Nice and slow flip turn. We also need to keep track of these screen turns. Um, so this will be the last turn to reflect, uh, unless it is. Unless there's some kind of shenanigans going on. Um, another thing we can do. Do we want to flip turn, punish the Keldeo coming in? Dark Pulse Stealth Rock. Dark Pulse Stealth Rock. He screens Kuno. I think I'm going to flip turn. Uh, it's a slow flip turn. So, uh, we're going to pop our citrus, which is nice. He stay nice and healthy. We'll be able to live an extra drill hit from here, as well as something like a Salamence hit. Uh, just kidding. I lied. Uh, so it is going to be dual screens. Um, <laughs> it's a little annoying. Not the end of the world, but a little bit annoying. Uh, let's see. On this uh, guy right here, we'd have one more turn of Sandstorm. Uh, we also see that it is going to be uh, like play. Um... Really, really unfortunate to be honest with you. Um, however, do I just take damage on this because he's like letting me win with Oregon Z later? Right? Like, do I just take the damage? I mean, this guy isn't taking any hits anymore after I take this Earth. This, yeah, I'm just gonna Earth Power. Um, if he's okay with giving me damage, that's fine. Fucking Christ, Panther! Please stop. Um, very Poggers. <laughs> uh, so it's also Smooth Rock. Uh, um, we're just gonna earth power again. I want some damage, please. <laughs> I'd like some da Oh, whoa! Yeah, man, great play. Great play. Great play, dude. Super fire. Um, woo! Very nice. I like that you got to do that for free. Uh, woohoo! <laughs> uh, we're just gonna flip turn here. I keep a sack. Um, if he kills me, he kills me. I don't think he can. He can... Ref he can, uh, what do you call it? Light screen here? Yeah, that's really, really frustrating, but what can you do? Haha! <laughs> what can you do? 
Yeah. Let's see. What a fucking game. I I love I would love damage on that guy. Um, so I mean this is torrent boosted. It's still under reflect, I believe. Um, I believe reflect's going to end this turn. Um, torrent boosted, by the way. Uh, so we get out, which is nice. Um, do I want to keep away these rocks? Do I die to a psychic from this thing? No, there's there's a what do you call it sandstorm up. Let's just double check. I have not been counting sandstorm, so let's double check. Um, we know that he's not like invested. Alright, so let's go ahead get into this guy. We're gonna click Mortal Spin. Psychic kill me after rocks. If he's not invested. Pretty good chance to. Wow, I'm in a terrible position right now. I think it might be Metagross time then. Yeah, I think it's Metagross time. Uh really trying to put some damage on on his team. Um, really frustrating position right now that we're in. Uh, but what can you do? What can you do? Cool. Alrighty, gang, we're back. Um, we're connected with Mr. Panther. Um, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I see now that we're on show that Reflect ended. I was probably so tilted that uh, I didn't at all. So uh, this positioning is actually pretty terrible for me. Um, because he's just gonna get up another light screen, which is really bad. I kind of wish I had uh, this joy, but it's all good. Um, gotta play with you know the way we looked before. Not gonna, not gonna change. Um, and we do have that light screen go away. Uh, now, something I do want to see though is with no light screen, is it worth bullet punching here, or is it worth still trailblazing to at least gain a speed advantage? Uh, because what is he at? He's at 29. I mean, I could go for bullet punch crit. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much of a point to that. Um, I think instead, it's probably worth to just go out into, uh, or just to trailblaze into Heavy Slam just to waste more turns. Uh, as he is going to go ahead and click that button. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and Heavy Slam. That does put him in range of rocks, which is pretty fire. Uh, we'll definitely take that. It does give him a sack if he wants to save this thing, though. Um, so it's a bit annoying. Um... But again, not the end of the world. I get his team doesn't still like appreciate switching into this. Um, so we'll go from there. We'll see what we can do. If I see Titar come out, it might even just be a time to um, just go hard into Glamora uh, and uh, we'll just spend these hazards away. To be honest, we do see hard Titar. Okay. Um, so this also, this again, just makes me really want to go Glamora and uh, stop any of these hazards from going up. So we're going to go ahead and get out in this Dark Pulse. We could just stay in and Earth Power. I want these rocks away. Um, and I can kind of always ensure that they do go away. Uh, so, fuck, I lied. I can't. Oh my god, I'm not playing well. I'm not playing well. Not playing well. Really, really not playing well. Um, from this position... Does he ever try and spin? I don't think so. Nasty. Um, and from this position, I, I genuinely might just lose. We still do have three turns of Sandstorm. Yeah, I mean, I think from this spot, we, we quite really lose the game. Um... I think what we can do is we can go Decidueye, pivot hard, Metagross, and then back into Glamora to sack it off. Um, I mean, that might just be our only play at this point. Yeah, I, I think we're going to go Decidueye. What we'll do here from this position is we're going to pivot hard, Metagross on... If he Shadow Claw, he Shadow Claw, and I'm fucked. Um, but I think it's going to be an Iron Head coming out here. It just seems like it covers the most things. Uh, Metagross is going to come hard out now. Please don't be Shadow Claw. It's Shadow Claw. Okay. Um, we do have one more turn here. And I think at this point then, it's probably worth to just sack this guy off. But I need two turns. So I think I'm going to be sacking another one, unfortunately. Uh, it's just a matter of what's... 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just lose. I, I don't think there's an out ever here. Um, T-Tar's really, really chipped. I could just bullet punch here. I also can't let him rapid spin. Does plus two rapid spin kill me from here is probably the main question. Um, that's a good drill. Uh, plus two rapid spin from this point. It is going to kill me. <laughs> it's not my spread. Um, so what I think we do here is I think we actually just genuinely have to sack off to Sijuai because if he spins here, there's uh, there's no end game. Uh, so we have to sack off to Sijuai. Can't let him spin. Can't let him spin. There's just EQ. <sighs> we do just go down, unfortunately. Um, and from this position, not much we can do. Um, I think... Yeah. Uh, remember that T-Tar being so healthy? It's pretty funny. Um, I think from this position, I can probably go Valiant, force him into, like, some kind of Iron Head turn, and pivot out immediately into Metagross. Uh, there's no way that he can Rapid Spin here, even if he's Choppel, because if he Rapid Spins into a Choppel... What I can do is I can close combat into Vacuum Wave or Force Fear into Vacuum Wave, uh, you know, Focus Blast into Vacuum Wave. So I don't think there's really a position for him to do otherwise. Um, the T-Tar is chipped um, in the sense that, like, now he does super have a chance of losing to Scarf PZ. Uh, and Scarf PZ looks really, really strong here. Uh, if we can eliminate Keldeo even, we even have a chance to... Uh, he's just Scarf me. That's fine. So Shuka is not going to save us from 6%. Um, we stall out the sand, which is very nice. We, we will take that. We have no screens up. Um, I think my only play is to get out into Valiant. Uh, if we see, what do you call it, come out, that's fine. Uh, if Weezing comes out, that's fine with me. I get a little bit of chip on it. Kind of helps out that Porygon end game. I can get into Glamour and put on some pressure offensively in that way. Um, so that's nice. Right? Uh, but yeah, I mean... <laughs> Just did not play our turns well. I think I, I obviously got really, really tilted. Um, but the Swampert shit didn't help, right? Um, so, very, very frustrating one thus far. Uh, let's see. If this thing is Chopple, which I am really, really expecting Chopple. You see Weezing come out. It is going to take a CC. It does not show to be Helmet, which is also very nice. We're going to go ahead and go out into Glamora. Eskidal needs to be dead for us to win with what do you call it as well. Just something else to keep in mind. Um, pretty bad. Uh, we also don't have a switch to Keldeo anymore. We had a sack off to Sijuai. Um, things are going pretty shitty right now. Things are going pretty darn shitty right now. <laughs> well, we'll see. Uh, there always is a chance of a tri-attack freeze or para. That can win us a game. Even a burn could win us a game. Um, so that's also nice. I'd also like to check and see, one, how much it does to Excadrill. Decent amount, 35. Um, how much are we doing to... He still has the T-Tar sack, guys. He still has the T-Tar sack. Um, <laughs> uh, how much does Keldeo take? This guy. Scarf does not kill from here, so. Another thing to keep in mind. He is going to be boots. I um, think we lose, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a game. Uh, we're going to power jump, just in case. Uh, but it's going to be a game. Uh, good game to Panther. Not much we can do in that regard. Um lose. So, I'm gonna go ahead and Moonblast. I don't know, I'm very frustrated. I think I got hoed out of this one uh, pretty hard. Um, but what can you do, man? <laughs> you know, what can you do? What can you do? We're gonna see T-Tar come out. Um, I don't think there's ever a universe where I live a hit from Excadrill on my Porygon Z. Unless he misses an attack. Um, so, the way we have to position this is not positioning it. Um, we just can't win from here. This, this game is guaranteed over, unfortunately. Um, is there any out? Any out at all? I don't think there is. Unfortunately. Um, not nah, because T-Tar Smooth Rock, if he didn't have that sack, he loses. So, super funny. Super funny one. Doesn't have that sack, he probably loses the game. Um, can you do? You know, what can you do? We're just gonna go ahead and try attack into the T-Tar. Um, if there's any chance of us winning, we have to kind of like stall out these turns. Hope he just can't hit our guy. Um, but yeah. Dark Pulse is gonna come out. And 
there's yeah, there's just no way of winning, unfortunately. Um Does Vacuum Wave crit kill this guy if he's non-choppable? Yeah, what a tilting one, guys. I'm sorry. Um to roll to kill if I get a crit. So I guess we rock out with that as a possibility. Uh, we're just gonna moon blast, but he could also misclick and choke that way. Uh, but he's gonna be choppable and we're gonna lose the game. So not much we can do, unfortunately. Um, it sucks. Panther's a good player. It's nothing on him, but I got hoed out of this one. You know, there's there's nothing I can do. Kinda. GG. Uh, but yeah, not much you can do. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I played bad. It was a shitty matchup, and I got hoed. So and that happens. Uh, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm. Oh, Pokemon's fun. It's fun. I don't like losing, especially when I, like I got hoed out of it and multiple sand got to stay up when he was just gonna sack it. So I'm frustrated. Um. I hope uh, Twitter fingers don't start going again. We'll see. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time.